Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we have some of the prettiest shaders that you can imagine in Minecraft 1.20.2. So if you want to learn how to add shaders to the newest version of Minecraft, super, super simple. Watch this video until the end and let's get started with the tutorial. And step number one, guys, to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.20.2 is to click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Iris. Now, Iris is a shaders loader. You're going to need some type of shaders loader, obviously, if you want to load some shaders. Sometimes we use Optifine. In this case, we're going to use Iris because Iris is already updated, unlike Optifine. Go ahead and scroll down once you're here. Of course, you could read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, go ahead and click where it says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris official website where we're going to click download now. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar and that is going to start the download for Iris. Now, in my case, it's asking me where to save the file. For you, it's just probably going to download automatically. And as you can see, we have the Iris installer here on our recent downloads. Go ahead and drag and drop that file into the desktop, you could probably find it in your downloads folder or here in the browser if you're using Chrome. And now that we have the Iris installer, we're actually going to download some shaders, right? Because we want to test out the shaders. So the shaders that we're going to download is complementary reimagined. These are some amazing shaders, the one that you saw at the intro of this video. They look really good and they're updated for the newest Minecraft. So to download these shaders, all you have to do is click on the third link in the description. This is our guide on how to install complementary reimagined. But just follow along. Go ahead and click on the button that says download this little blue button in here, purple button that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click files and then you're going to see 1.20.2, the most recent instance for complementary reimagined right here. Go ahead and click on these little three dots and click download file that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically. All you got to do is wait five seconds, OK? And as you can see, the file is downloading. It's asking me where to save it again. I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder and then I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it into my desktop. Now that we have the Iris installer and the complementary reimagined, we are kind of ready to start. But before we start, I do have to let you know that we're going to be installing Iris. Iris is a jar file, as you can see. And if any of you faces any issues while loading up this jar file or maybe while opening it, maybe you don't even see the icon in here or it opens up as a text document or as a website. That is because you have an outdated version of Java. Java, and I'm not talking about Minecraft Java, I'm talking about Java, the software that allows you to install jar files needs to be updated to the newest version in order to install these type of files. So for that, I'm going to leave you a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. And if you click on the download button here, you're going to see that you now actually have even Java 21 available, which you could go ahead and install as well. But yeah, I'm going to leave you this guide. It's pretty much the same steps for 17 or 21, whichever one you prefer to use. Just go ahead and install Java. I recommend that you install 17 because we have a full guide on how to do that. And also after you install the Java, you might need to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix will fix any other issues that you might have while opening up this jar file that obviously we need to open that jar file to install Iris, right? So guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave you all of these guides in the description, how to install Java and how to run a jar fix. So you guys, if you face any issue in the next step, you will know what to do. So now before we go ahead and install Iris, we actually have to launch our Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Um, I have it here on the quick access menu. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and now it's loading, but just give it a second and let it load. And the reason we need to open our Minecraft launcher is because we actually have to launch Minecraft 1.20.2 vanilla without any mods at least once before we install Iris. So yeah, pretty much you let this load open the latest release at least once. If you have already played Minecraft once in the past, right? If you have played 1.20.2, the, the latest release at least once, then you probably could have skipped this step. But I still like to do it just to make sure that we create an instance of 1.20.2 for Iris to install to. OK, remember, we're going to be installing some mods. So we need to create a folder with the newest release for those mods to install on. Or otherwise, you're going to install this app and then it's not going to show on the launcher. And you will see what I mean in a moment. So once Minecraft 1.20.2 has opened, all you have to do is quit game. You don't even have to create a world. And now make sure your launcher is closed. As you can see, my launcher is completely closed and go ahead and launch your Iris installer. Just double click on it. That is going to open the installer app. As you can see, the recent version 1.20.2 is selected automatically. That is a good thing. If it's not selected, you could always look for it in here. Or maybe if you want to install a different version for whatever reason, you could also do it in here. 
So once you have 1.20.2 selected, all you have to do is install. And real quick, while Iris is installing in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you are looking for a Minecraft server where you could play with your friends 24 seven on Java or Bedrock, whatever you want to do, where you own your own server, you could run any mods that you want. Well, Apex Hosting is here for you. Something great about Apex Hosting, besides that they're giving you 25% off if you use the first link in the description, is that you could actually access the server console through your phone, meaning that you don't even have to be at home to control your server. You could kick people out of the server, ban people, change the settings of the server, OP or change the weather, whatever you want to do through your phone when you're far away from the house. So that's one of the reasons I love Apex Hosting. I've been using it for a long time and they are the sponsor of this video. So first link in the description if you want to create your server and let's continue with the tutorial. As we can see, the Iris installation has completed. As we can see in here, it says completed. We could go ahead and close this up and now we could even delete the Iris installer file. Just go ahead and delete it and just keep this zip file in the desktop. You don't have to unzip this file, okay? Just leave it in there. The next thing we're going to do is open our Minecraft launcher one more time. Just go ahead and click on your Minecraft launcher. Let let me move it to this main screen right here. Let it load. And remember, guys, I said that if you didn't open Minecraft before installing Iris, you weren't going to get Iris here in the Minecraft launcher. You're about to see what I meant. As you can see, Iris is showing automatically because I opened Minecraft before installing Iris and then I closed Minecraft and made sure the launcher was closed. If you didn't do that step, you won't get this in here automatically. As a matter of fact, you won't even get it in here at all. You won't have Iris installed if you didn't follow that step. That's why it's very important that you follow along. Now, with Iris installed, you could always make sure that it appears in here. If it doesn't show automatically, you could always go to installations and make sure that model is selected because if model is not selected, you won't see Iris in here. And if by any chance that doesn't work, you could always click new installation and find Iris in here. As you can see, release Iris 1.20.2 is right there. You can name this whatever you want. Click create and you will have an Iris instance, right? That's if it wasn't showing automatically. But for most of you, if you follow along correctly, it will be showing. All you have to do now to add shaders is click on play. Click that you understand. Click on play again. Let the game open up. I'm going to minimize my launcher. It doesn't really matter anymore. And now Minecraft just opened. It took actually like 20 seconds. So just give it some time. Don't click anything. Just let the game load. And we're going to wait for this to load us in. And as we can see, we're in Minecraft 1.20. We're going to go ahead and make this bigger. And it says fabric down here. That is a good thing that is letting us know that we actually install Iris properly. So to add the shaders, all you have to do is launch your world. I'm going to launch the first world that I have right here. OK, so now that we loaded into a world, I'm actually going to teach you how to add the shaders, right? So all you have to do to add the shaders is just press escape, go to options, in here, click on video settings. And as you can see, this whole menu looks completely different. You could actually play with quality and performance if you want to get the game to be a little bit faster. But to add the shaders, all you have to do is click where it says shader packs. In here, you shouldn't see anything. I actually have some shaders right now, but you shouldn't see anything. Go ahead and make this a little bit smaller and click where it says open shader pack folder. This is going to be an empty folder. Let me go ahead and delete that. And as you can see, this is how the game is going to look for you. Nothing in here. And all you have to do, guys, is actually just drag and drop this file that we downloaded earlier into this folder. Go ahead and drag and drop it in there. Now it should show in the game. You can make the game bigger now. Click on the shaders, click apply, and then obviously make sure the shaders are enabled here on the top. And just give it a second to load. Right now, my game is a little bit frozen. You got to give it a second. As you can see, it's loading. And there we go. It actually loaded quite fast. Go back into the game and there you go. You have shaders now. You have some beautiful shaders. This is actually one of the prettiest shaders I've ever seen. And if you want to quickly disable the shaders, all you have to do is press K. You don't even have to go back into the menu. As you can see, just by pressing K, the shaders go off and they come back on. And that is pretty useful. You cannot tell me that's not useful. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to add shaders to Minecraft 1.20.2 using iris i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like and a comment and if you want to learn how to add extra to minecraft i'm going to leave you that video right now on the screen so yeah go ahead and click on it what are you waiting for go ahead and click on that video